Hey guys, I hope you're well. So in this video, we will attempt to integrate sine squared x with respect to x. And the best way to use it is by using a trigonometry identity. Okay. Now, what kind of identity we're speaking of? Well, in particular, we're, we're speaking of a double angle, the one that involves strictly sine squared. Okay, so simply, I'm looking at cos 2x equals... 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Alternatively, if you want to find cos squared x, it would, there would also be 2 cos squared x minus 1. This would be the alternative formula. Or one involving both, or you get the picture. Anyway, we want this one. Okay, so let's rearrange this and put two, cos 2x two as a subject. So we're going to have duh, 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 sine squared x equals so minus 1 divided by minus 2 cos 2x minus 1 over minus 2 make this look nicer times by minus 2 so be 1 minus cos 2x 2x over 2 okay and I say we're going to integrate this equation and replace it here so what we really have is taking half our side the integral of 1 minus cos 2x dx and this my friends is going to be really damn easy let me rub this all out okay so recall use the trig identity when you have a sine squared or cos squared x hence you'll be able to solve this very easy equation okay so next leaving half outside and integrating this integrate the integral one is x now Integrating cos x versus positive sine x. Because you have a 2 inside the, you know, within the trick, this will go underneath. So, and 2 remains afterwards. So it'll be sine 2x over 2. And then, of course, we have to add the extra constant plus c. Expanding the bracket, ultimately, you have x over 2 minus sine 2x. 2 times 2 is 4 plus C. And there we have it, folks. Nice and easy. Hope this helps.